It's not God that kills the children, not fate that butchers them, or destiny that feeds them to the dogs. It's us. Only us. I'm Batman. Where are they hiding the drugs? <laughs> Lead me to Falcone! My Rorschach impression is exactly my Christian Bale Batman impression. To be fair, they kind of, they could be the same. They're probably the I think they're the same. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today we're going to be doing the Rorschach test. Now, if you're like me, you know more about Rorschach from Watchmen than you actually know about the Rorschach test. I have a faint idea as to what the test is. You have ink blots or something, and you're supposed to say what you see, and a psychiatrist tells you that you're a sociopath, and then you put on a mask and go become a vigilante and uh, be really jaded and bitter about the world. I feel like it's all self-explanatory. Let's learn about the Rorschach test before we create art out of the Rorschach test. The Herman Rorschach test is a psychological test that investigates personality in detail to determine the disorder of the person's psychological state. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm going to be doing the Rorschach test from the website called The Ink Blot.com, I'll put the link in the description if you want to find out your deepest, darkest traits. It looks like they were all done with ink blots on a piece of paper that's been folded and opened up, so not by an artist. And while the original Rorschach test ink blots were created by a psychiatrist and not an artist, I'm going to fix that today. As an artist, I am one by one going to go through the 10 ink blots of the Rorschach test and I'm going to interpret them before I look at the options for them and then I'll choose the closest thing to the thing that I interpreted. And hopefully by the end of it I'll be able to diagnose whatever is happening here. Who's ready to learn about my deepest darkest emotional characteristics? So using this as a base I'm going to get some nice thick art pens here. I have just a, a sharpie for I guess some of the details. Then I have the Copic Gassenfude pen. And then we have of course the nice big thick art line permanent marker. So image number one. What do I see? I sort of see two witches doing the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Here's the hat. I think I'm seeing the witch because my toddler has been watching a lot of uh, the cartoon Room on a Broom. Clearly we have witch robes here with these teeny, teeny tiny little feet. Oh, look at him. And then this is like all magical swirl. So that's what I see. I don't know what that tells me about myself, but let's see if that's an option. I see a face, a scary face. Things that look like they're whirling around in the card. Looks like we're looking down on people or something in the card. A mask. A flower. I see some sexual imagery in the card. Depends how you interpret it. Look, it is an option to type what you see in the card, so it's a little too specific to be any of those other things, so I'm going to say two witches doing the fusion dance. Alright, next, what do we have? This is the paper I'm working on. And uh, I see Jesus with big ears. He's like sweaty or something. I'm not a religious person, but I can definitely, I definitely see Jesus. I'm sorry, that's just, or a hobo. They often get mixed up, I guess. I mean, look, what else would it be? It's a cartoon Jesus, God damn it! I don't know what, uh, what's happening up here. Uh... I guess it's balding. Yeah, yes, yes! <laughs> That's it, yes! Beautiful! It looks like a bunny rabbit head, elongated horse's head, really? It looks like two distorted Eskimos playing patty cake? What? We have two distorted Eskimos playing patty cake, but we don't have Jesus! That is clearly Jesus! He's like, you know, I'm Jesus, come follow me and I'll go get you some fish or something. Seriously, these are all so specific and not Jesus. Hobo balding Jesus. All right, this is the next image. Now, I don't know about you, but I sort of see Jesus. <laughs> what does this say about me? I also saw Jesus in my toast this morning. I feel like someone's trying to communicate with me. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your fingers? I'm sorry, but I still see a bearded... Wait, no! I see two ballerinas doing the fusion dance, I'm sorry. I do see two ballerinas dancing with each other, but they're not just normal ballerinas. They're either duck faces 
or they have really long jaws and are looking up. There's even an Adam's apple. We've got these two ballerina blokes. What are these other blots around them? This is like molasses or something that's sticking them together. Maybe they fell into syrup and it's like stringing together and they're like trying to get unstuck from each other. And these things in the background, I sort of see butterflies. So they're like in some sort of mystical forest with like creatures and they fell into a into the honey pot. It's pretty clearly that, so what are our options? Looks like two double amputees dancing. We got dancing, that's close. Looks like the coast of Italy after an atom bomb attack. One-legged cannibals fighting over a victim. I love pudding. I love pudding is an answer. Really? I guess a large proportion of interactions happen like this. The doctor's like, what do you see? And the patient says, I love pudding. Pudding. It looks like an RLFP DNA test result. It looks like Satan's head. It looks like smudges maybe an inkblot. I'm gonna actually go with, it looks like two double amputees dancing. I feel like we should probably sometimes try and just pick some of the answers they give if they're close enough. So I'm just gonna go with that. All right, next we have this one. I see like a Cruella de Vil type character. It's even got like this big fur coat. Yes, I've got one of those weird long cigarette things. And for some reason I sound like Stewie Griffin. I didn't know I could do this impression, but all of a sudden I'm very excited about it. Let's give her like some stripes. Spots are so last season. I like killing zebras now. That to me looks pretty clear. It doesn't stray from it very much. So uh, let's let's see if there's anything close to that in our options here. We have the universe exploding and coming at me. No, you idiot. It's a butterfly that's been crushed by a boot, boot, boot heel. Huh, this one's definitely an ink blot. The Rorschach test is getting sassy. Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> the dark malevolent shapes remind me of my childhood murder spree. This seems like a joke test. Okay, patient, does this one remind you of A, the universe exploding, B, a butterfly that's been crushed, or C, that recent string of murders you committed. C. Why C? The majority of multiple choice answers are always C. Uh, I'm gonna have to say C, I mean B. Definitely B. Looks like someone exposing herself to me. Well, you know, minus the dress, she's kinda, that's, that counts. All right, it's definitely someone exposing herself to me. All right. Next, we got this one, which, I mean, I, I barely need to look at it to tell you that it's clearly a bat. Except the bat sort of has a head of a horse. I mean, obviously I haven't spent much effort on this one, but it's just too self-explanatory in the silhouette. Satan's eyes filled with an evil burning hatred for my soul. I see a fluffy bunny rabbit. I feel like those two answers are somewhat at odds with each other. I see a big naughty shape at the top in the center. It looks like a guy that was hit by a bullet train going five million miles an hour. This blot doesn't really look like anything to me. Can I have some lunch? <sighs> it looked like a Teletubby, maybe Poe, that was run over by Sherman tank. This, all the, half the answers is someone getting hit by something really hard. And how does it not have a bat? This inkblot test website is bullshit. I'm just, I'm not even gonna overcomplicate my answer. It's a bat. Now, while the website is kind of dumb, but with its answers at this point, the ink blots are based on the original ink blots. So our answers will still count. I could, I don't know, maybe I could do this on a website somewhere else after, I don't know. But this is the ink blot we have now to look at. And I sort of see two reflections of an old man. Like I see like this really long nose, a sad face and a beard. But I feel like there's like a mirror here and there's like water here. He's got his knees crossed, obviously, sitting on like a bus station seat or something. So he's waiting for the bus, leaning on a mirror, so that's reflecting him here. And then you got like the water down here. Do you see it? I guess that's a dumb, like, thing. It's just the first thing I saw. Stop judging me. This card gives me strong yearnings for members of my sex. I see a monster swooping down to eat a helpless puppy dog. It looks like people having sex, a scene from below, not that I know. I don't see that at all. Oh yeah, I sort of see that. It looks like you folded the top card to bottom this time. It looks like a pulsing heart. It looks like something brain damaged. A kid would draw an art class. It looks like a lawyer with his arms out demanding money. Oh my goodness. This website is pissing me off with his attempt at sassy humor. I see an old man waiting for the bus and I'll just say reflected twice. There we go. Okay. Next we have 
this one. I wish we could like turn it. Can you turn it? I need to Google this. Apparently it's up to me. I see like a Zen warrior. It's got like eyebrows like this. Like, I mean, look at this. This is such a no brainer. It's got robes on, big long sleeves. These are like fancy robes. They have like indentations and stuff. So this guy's meditating and his inner warrior is sort of pulsing out here. That, that one's pretty straightforward. So let's see what our options are. It looks like a bat. No way. Oh, I have a bat in this one. Looks like two evil garden gnomes conspiring with each other. Looks like, well, something, you know, kind of blobby and all. <laughs> Looks like a giraffe in a bathtub filled with brightly colored machine tools. There's no colors! How is... Oh, this website is so dumb. <sighs> okay, next we have this one here. We're getting through them. three more before I can be diagnosed by this. Stupid website. Maybe the point of this website isn't to diagnose killers, it's to create them. All right, what do I see here? Clearly I see a monkey wearing sunglasses, but then something's happening here. So I'm gonna have to say a monkey wearing sunglasses and a face mask. Cause you got the monkey hair like this, you got big monkey ears, and here you have nice big cool shades. He's got like a brohawk and everything. There you go, so that's uh, <laughs> that's something. What's the closest option that I have here? Looks like a leaf or animal climbing up a cave wall. It looks like something very sexy and more dumb answers. I'm just gonna go with something very Sexy. All right, we're up, <laughs> we're up to nine now. <gasps> it's a koala. <laughs> That's like a ox skull, you know, like the Chicago Bulls thing. I guess that would be a bull, not an ox. Don't know what the. I guess he's got like a runny nose. <laughs> this is so stupid. There we go. This is a hunched up koala, looking very sad and traumatized, and he's obviously a giant koala because that is the head of an ox or a bull. God, we're going down a rabbit hole here. Looks like a monster hold me, I'm scared. I see naughty bits. God damn it. No, I don't see, oh. Yeah, I sort of see that too. Looks a bit like an abstract pattern of light and dark things. I don't know, but I wouldn't want to meet it in a dark alley. I'd almost go that one, but the monster hold me, I'm scared fits better because it looks specifically like something, not I don't know. Looks like my ex-wife, first thing in the morning. Funny. I must kill them all, kill them all, and um, what were you saying? Looks like a toad that tried to cross the highway at rush hour. Oh, something getting hit hard. It's original. All right, well, we got our answer there. We're up to our lucky last one, which is this. Okay, I see a hood of some sort. I do see demented rabbits. I think I'm gonna go the right way up because I definitely see eyes. This has got like evil eyes. It's got like this really weird demonic mouth. I feel like the shape sort of makes up itself. You've got hands over here. I mean, that's as best as I can interpret it. It's like a demonic ghost. So I don't know if that's like an option, but let's just see. This is a bad acid trip I had at a Styx concert. This is a copyrighted image and my lawyer will be in touch. Great. So now every single answer is a friggin' joke. Looks like something really indescribable. <laughs> it looks like a decaying soul ravaged by life's many horrors or a doggy. This is the devil for sure. You can't fool me, spawn of Satan. This looks an awful lot like the stain on my pillow. If you have a stain on your pillow that looks like that, you, you might want to get someone around to do an exorcism. Let's just go with, it looks like a decaying soul ravaged by life's many horrors. All right, diagnose me. Come on, come on, tell me what's wrong with me. This random slightly stupid website tells me my sickness quotient of 56% is hardly cause for concern. Good, that's good. You can tell the parents that when they say I'm a bad influence, you can say, well, his sickness quotient is only 56%. He's hardly a cause for concern. <laughs> you have delusions of adequacy, which are completely unfounded. You couldn't pour tea out of boot with the instructions written on the heel. You complain about everything regardless of what it is. You wouldn't be happy even if you were hit by a new car. Well, if you were hit by a new car, that would be really painful. So no, I wouldn't be happy. And I disagree with you. I have plenty of feelings of inadequacy. Thank you very much. Stop acting like such a tool. What the f is wrong with you, Tess? Who do you think you are? Rather than do a one-type job that takes 10 minutes, you'd work for five years to automate it. That's kind of true. Your personal motto is find something you love and do it. That's actually true. Unfortunately, your test results indicate you really love sheep. <laughs> 
Is there another version of this test? All right, I found a different website. Memorize the given image. Well, this is what I drew for that image and my options are an army, a naval, a bat, nothing at all, two people. I'm just gonna go with the two people. I think this is supposed to be representative of, of this one. Let's see what the options are. Something not listed here. Okay, next. Man, it totally changes it when there's colors involved. I didn't know that there was colors, but they, you know, that's what I got for that one. Closest I'd say would be two birds. You know how people refer to people as birds. Give me some cute birds over there. That sort of applies. Oh, this was the koala one. Cool. This one was none of these options. God damn it. All right, diagnose me. Come on, your score is one out of 10, meaning you selected one answers that are commonly given by individuals with some psychological disturbance. Good, that's what I like to hear. Most people scored above one though. Most people average two, so I'm pretty under disturbed, which is good. All right, I tried to do this test to find something deep about myself. The, the tests I found online haven't told me much other than I'm slightly disturbed, but not enough to be a worry to people. However, I wanna know how I'm disturbed. What is it that is, is going on in here? I'm gonna put a poll up here with five different options just for things that I think may be revealed through the test, but I need you guys to diagnose me. I'm not the most qualified person to diagnose myself with those poll options. So given a combination of the winning vote and some of the top comments of your diagnoses of me, I'd like to piece together what's going on here. Let me know your thoughts. Some of you who have been around for a long period of time, you know, it might be worth bringing up some past videos or, or uh, events just to sort of help tie this all together to help me understand more about myself. But that being said, this is all I can do today in revealing my inner mind and deepest, darkest feelings and thoughts. I've completed the Rorschach test and I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to seeing your comments and seeing your votes. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Draw With Jazza for more art. Three times a week. <laughs> that is if I'm not too crazy for it, but hey, Little, little bit of crazy is good, right? That's what I try and tell my psychiatrist, but I don't know. He doesn't see me anymore. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.